First, there is potentially troubling news tonight for thousands of credit card holders. Visa and MasterCard now reporting criminals have stolen the personal identification and information for tens of thousands of accounts. The companies report <clears throat> a third party processing firm likely suffered some sort of security breach. Each has reportedly notified banks which, which issue the cards. Fortunately, the banks tell us customers will not be held responsible, and now we're told the Secret Service is investigating. But the agency declined to give any specifics on what might have happened or who might be responsible. The Fox Sports Chief Correspondent Jonathan Hunt is with us tonight. Do we know exactly how this happened, or is that still part of the mystery here? Still part of the mystery, Shep, but it appears that somebody hacked into the database of this processing company, Atlanta-based Global Payments. The company itself has admitted it suffered what it called an unauthorized access in early March. And here's the thing, according to the uh, cybersecurity experts, when you sign up for one of these big-name credit cards, you may think that it is that big-name company that is looking after all your personal information. But the fact is, there's a lot of middlemen, companies you've never heard of until something like this happens. Listen. When people think of Visa and MasterCard, they think that's where the processing's done, but it's really not. They're just the companies that have the brand, you know, create the credit. These credit card processors are people who hold themselves out to merchants and third parties to say, when you get credit card transactions, we'll process them for you. And Morgan Wright also says that the security of any credit card company is only as good as its weakest link. Clearly, in this case, this processing company turned out to be that weak link. Ship. You know, it seems like this has been happening a lot lately. Are, are they offering advice on what we can do to protect? Yeah, you talk to people like Morgan Wright, cybersecurity expert, and they say there are some very simple things you can do, although they do mean pausing for thought in this age of point click and buy. He says, for instance, don't save your information online. When those companies say, do you want to save your credit card information for future <coughs> transactions? No. Do not do it. Don't, of course, put your credit card information in any email you're sending anywhere because you never know where that email could be forwarded to. And finally, and most practically, monitor your credit card statement every single day. <coughs> if you see anything that looks in at <coughs> all suspicious, then call the credit card company. I do it Every day it takes a couple of minutes. We've all got to make it part of our daily routine in this modern world. I guess so. Johnny Hunt, have a great weekend. You Thank too. you.